to the November edition of the Forensic Update. I'm Bill Duffin. We've got a lot on our plate this month, so make sure to check out the As Seen on the Forensic Update page for links to these stories and more. First up, scientists at MIT have developed a talking plant. Well, sort of. Our research team has engineered a spinach plant into a bomb-sniffing machine with tiny carbon tubes that get absorbed into the photosynthetic regions of the plant. The tubes can detect chemical compounds used in explosives and emit a fluorescent signal which can be picked up by an infrared camera. The scientists believe this breakthrough is only the beginning and hope to further tap into plants' chemical signaling pathways for other uses. Investigators are constantly battling the elements to get an impression photo or cast in soil or snow. A Purdue University School of Mechanical Engineering team is working to create a 3D imaging system to help solve this issue. With a grant from the National Institute of Justice, researchers are hoping to make a system that can capture images with a resolution of 600 dpi and an intuitive user interface. The project will officially kick off in January. It's not what you say, but how you say it, that can influence jurors in the courtroom. A new study from the National Institute of Justice examined how jurors perceive the validity of evidence presented by an expert based on years of experience, confidence in results, and validity and accuracy of the forensic technique used. In mock criminal trials, the participants were asked to consider and deliberate as if they were sitting on a real case. Results of the study indicate jurors don't always consider the science as much as they weigh the years of experience and confidence from the expert. The study also suggests expert witnesses be better trained in testimony presentation and suggests the court provides instructions for jurors on the meaning and limitations of identification evidence. <sighs> Bias is everywhere, sometimes even in labs. Dr. Etiel Dror has created an online course focusing on minimizing bias in forensic decision-making. The self-paced 10-hour course provides scientists, examiners, quality assurance teams, and managers with practical solutions and best practices to address bias issues. <sighs> NFSTC is proud to be a provider on the Seaport e-contract and electronic purchasing platform. This will allow us to partner easily with our U.S. Navy and System Command clients. Seaport E is a multiple award contract for engineering, technical, logistics, program management, and financial support services. NFSTC's contract is good until April 4th, 2019. <sighs> Who needs football? When you're done with Thanksgiving dinner, binge watch the first season of Forensics with the family. But save room, because the next installment of the award-winning myth-busting series will be back in the new year. Stay tuned to our social media channels for a debut date. Until next time, from all of us here at NFSTC, I'm Bill Duffin, and thanks for watching.